Tuesday, August 22nd. Man. 2023 is going to be over before we know it. Alright. Today, I am grateful. That no matter what. God remains the same. Um, been struggling here a little lately. Um, just a lot of different things. But uh, I'm, I'm grateful that he remains the same no matter what. Secondly, I am grateful That God gave me the character trait of compassion and taught me forgiveness. Um, now, I still get upset about certain things. And I think that's a direct reflection of me trying to control things. But for the most part, I'm a compassionate, caring, and forgiving person. Lastly, I'm grateful that God is pushing me to do something I thought I would never do, ever. So, Sunday, I admitted for the first time out loud to anybody. I admitted it to Hogan and something that I'm not really ready to talk about openly and put online, but it's a, it's one of those deep-rooted issues. Um, probably like the one, like definitely in the top five, if not the one major issue that has caused me a lot of problems throughout life. Uh, I still can't believe I did it. I don't know why I did it. Well, I know why I did it, but um, I still can't believe I did. And I'm grateful that God put someone and others in my life that I know I can trust with sharing this stuff. And, uh, you know, honestly, part of me was terrified. I had so much anxiety. I was shaking. I didn't know what the heck to do. But, uh, now I'm grateful for it. Um, and it's always been something I struggled with because I, I always thought a lot of people wouldn't understand. And a lot of people probably won't because they can't relate. Um, but the ones that I know can relate are the ones that I've always considered going to. But never did. Um, and it just so happens that Hogan could relate, sadly. But... glad I got it off my chest because I've never shared it with anybody. I did feel a relief, but I also felt a major anxiety. Like unbelievable anxiety. My thoughts, my mind, everything was racing. And I know that I'm going to have to do some more step work with it. Um, you know, my fourth and in my testimony, I, I touched on it, but I didn't go into detail. This time I went full 100% honest detail and it wasn't good. For I mean, it was good and I know something good is going to come out of it. And it started as something bad. Like it started as something completely unpleasant and uh, it caused a major argument 
but that was also on my part. You know, I, I still have to watch the way I react sometimes. And I still have some pent up anger in some areas, but it wasn't anger as much as it was fear. Fear of rejection, fear of discomfort. devotional and you know I heard the uh, what's it called the uh, elevation church sermon for Sunday like right after I broke down and let everything out and I mean it was spot on it was talking about you know there's no beauty in life without mud you know, you got to get dirty before things get better. And it just blew my mind. I actually started crying because it's uh, been a long time coming. But I would suggest to anybody who watches this that if and when you work a STEM program, um, if there's stuff that you intentionally leave out in your fourth step, it will end up coming back. I mean, I still got freedom. I still recovered. I still stayed sober. But some things were just still not right. And I was still experiencing a lot of issues in some certain areas of my life. And more personal areas. And I'm hoping that now I got this out and off my chest. And I'm not, I wasn't made to feel the type of way that, you know, true lasting freedom results from it. So, yeah. Then on a uh, lighter note, or a better note, I received my letter from DMV. My first interview thing for my driver's license is on December 13th. And I feel really good about that. Um, I'm going in with a lawyer now. It's at a different hearing office. It's a different officer, but uh, I'm grateful for it, I'm very grateful for it, and uh, you know, I know God's got this, and I don't need to worry, and I also got some not so pleasant news from my work about pay, and something happened that never really happened before, you know, I, I didn't let it affect my home, I didn't bring it home with me, and I have in the past, and it always made, you know, my whole life unpleasant in some ways, but, um, it, uh, it didn't happen this time. And I didn't let it get to me. Um, you know, business is business and personal life is personal life and I'm separating them. Like, forever. So anyway, God, I'm thankful, very thankful for this day. Lord, I thank you for the people that you've put in my life. Um, trustworthy people that don't judge me. Um, I'm looking forward, Lord, to the freedom I know that I'm going to receive from dealing with this deep-rooted issue. And uh, I'm excited to see what you do with it and what beauty you bring from it. Uh, 
because I know that you, know, you use everything for good. And I'm extremely grateful for that. So, I thank you, Lord, for this day and everybody in it. And I ask that you please help me remain grateful and humble. Um, thank you for my CR family. Please watch over and care for them. Keep them strong in their areas. Uh, JD, I'm, I'm hoping that this kid sticks with it and realizes early on in life that, you know, the party scene is not all it's cracked up to be. He's very young, just like I was when I got introduced to recovery, but even if he does leave and test the waters again, Lord, just please bring him back. No, a lot of our problems in life are of our own doing. And as hard as that is to swallow sometimes, it's true. And sometimes we don't want to hear the truth. Lord, I ask that you strengthen Hogan and keep her strong, focused, and determined. Um, She's got quite a few areas that she needs to work on, and I, be I believe she is. Um, please reveal yourself to her and just help her recover and get freedom from the messed up past that she's had. Lord, I ask that you please Watch over my mother and keep her happy, healthy. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Lord, for this day and everybody in it. And uh, I ask and pray all this in Jesus' name, amen.